My name is Celine, and this is Vicious by V. E. Schwab. Plenty of humans were monsters, and plenty of monsters knew how to play at being human. I think it really captures one of the main themes of Vicious because the book really makes you wonder about what makes a good guy or a bad guy. Throughout the story, there are some good characters that execute some questionable actions, and it really makes you wonder, like, what does it mean to be a hero in the first place? It's especially interesting in this case because, you know, there's there's the stereotypical superhero story, and in that story, there's the, the dashing, brave protagonist who has a very strong morals, and then there's the antagonist who has bad intentions and... Vicious is also about people with extraordinary powers. It's just that in this book, it's not quite so black and white. In the beginning of the book, you're introduced to the two main characters, Victor Vale and Eli Cardale. For the sake of this video, the Weeping Angel will be playing Eli, and Dennis will be playing Victor. Victor and Eli are both young and brilliant university students studying at Lachlan University. They're also best friends. For his final thesis project, Eli shockingly decides to do research on EOs, or extraordinary people, and how they come to have these abilities. He comes to the groundbreaking discovery that if ordinary people are put under the right psychological and physical trauma, they can become EOs. This leads to the turning point in the story, when Eli and Victor start experimenting on themselves. Ten years later, Victor escapes from penitentiary with only one goal in mind, kill Eli. Throughout this journey, you meet a colorful cast of side characters and their backstories. All of the locations in this book are set on Earth, but just not in real cities. As for the time period, it's set in the near future, but it switches back and forth between 10 years ago and one minute ago to right now. As for the main conflict, you could probably guess that the main one is between Victor and Eli, but there are also a lot of really interesting side conflicts between the side characters that I just add another level of complexity to the story, and it really makes it quite interesting to read. What's interesting about Victor is that as you're reading the story, you begin to realize that this guy is not afraid to hurt people to meet his own ends, and that end is to hunt Eli down and kill Eli no matter what. That's become his sole purpose in life. He's vengeful, selfish, envious. Now for the antagonist of the story. Eli Cardale is brilliant and charming on the outside. But on the inside, there's something hidden there that draws Victor to him in the first place. And that's how they become best friends. Eli's sole purpose in life has become to eradicate all ex superpowered people in the world. Because that's what he thinks that God sent him there to do. On this revenge-seeking journey, Victor meets this girl named Sydney Clark. She's a kid, so it's kind of interesting having her around Victor, and it changes him in little ways that matter a lot. Once and for all, let me just say that Vicious was an exciting and absorbing novel that I really enjoyed, and I think you'll enjoy too. It's not a long read, it's only 365 pages, so if you want a short-ish book but still gripping, this is the book for you. It's categorized as adult fiction, but honestly, it's not a very difficult read. And happy reading!